Former President Trump back in New York now to prepare for his historic booking and arraignment tomorrow. Yeah, networks carry the moment that the former president's private plane took off from Florida this morning. He'll spend the night at Trump Tower before going to the courthouse tomorrow. Fox 10's Ellen McNamara is here now with the latest on that plan. Ellen. And guys, right now in New York, there is a small group set up outside of Trump Tower to show support for him. We know the arraignment is set for 2.15 New York time tomorrow, and ahead of it, the Trump team just added another lawyer. Former President Donald Trump has arrived in New York City ahead of his historic arraignment. New York City was ready for him with a heavy police presence and barricades all across downtown. The NYPD surrounding Trump Tower where he'll spend the day and night. I want to make it clear, uh, the commissioner has stated it over and over again, there has been no specific, specific credible threats to our city at this time. While the exact charges remain sealed, the indictment stems from the alleged 2016 hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels and former Playboy model Karen McDougal, which the Manhattan DA has been investigating for five years. Trump says he's innocent and calls it a political witch hunt. Trump's legal team has vowed to fight those charges, and today a new defense lawyer, Todd Blanche, was added to the team. Meanwhile, his supporters are getting ready to rally in New York in a protest organized by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and New York's Young Republican Club. While there may be some rabble rousers thinking about coming to our city tomorrow, a message is clear and simple. Control yourselves. Since news of the indictment broke, Trump's team says that they have raised a record $7 million for his reelection campaign. Ellen McNamara, Fox 10 News.